What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now, check it out. We back with that 2.0 series, right? Listen, let me explain to you about the 2.0. The 2.0 series is about previous videos that I've done, especially if it was like three years ago. I'm laughing, man, because it makes me cringe when I see them videos now. So, I did this video already. You know, these chicken wings and the air fryer, I already done those, right? But when I did it, I had music playing, it was too loud, and I had, uh, I didn't even really talk during the video. You know what, but now that I think that I can make a better video, I'm gonna go ahead and remake it. And right about now, I think every household in America probably has an air fryer. So, with that being said, let's get it. Okay, so first we finna go over these ingredients. Now check this out. It's so little ingredients, you know what I mean? Just make it super simple. Right here, I just got some fresh wings. You know what I mean? These are already thawed. I got these at my local grocery store. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a plug. I got these from Stater Brothers, y'all. You know what? They already ready to go. They just need to be seasoned, coated, and then they're in the uh, air fryer. Over here, look, this is just all purpose flour. Now those of y'all that have been making chicken and all of that, you know what we gotta do? We gonna season that. Now, we got salt which I use kosher salt, you guys know that. And then I got pepper, right? I'm gonna talk about these two things right here. Now, when I first made the video, listen, I used the J-O. Nothing wrong with the J-O. If I didn't get, if I hadn't had uh, discovered the Creole Kick by Sweet Smoky Joe's, definitely will be using this. Either one, you guys, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna make a video so you guys can see exactly what's in my, my cabinets, right? I have a lot of different seasonings, but this right here, you guys know, this right here is my front runner. So, you can use Sweet Smoky Joe, the Creole Kick, or you can use the butter garlic flavored uh, seasoning, or you can use this right here, that J-O, and it's gotta be that J-O number two. This right here is a great combination to season your flour. Now, this right here is the secret ing ingredient, right? Look, this is nothing but a canola spray. This is what's gonna make, you know, our wings be super crispy. So you're gonna need to get yourself some of this, and I would probably say this, probably everybody in America got some sort of form of non-stick canola spray in their cabinet. I'm gonna show you how to use this. Now, let's get it. All right, so obviously I got the, uh, I got the chicken wings in the bowl, right? Look, here's what we gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take, you know, my pepper. Look, I'm just gonna add some pepper to it right now. You guys can give it a few turns. I'm gonna tell you this, this is the key to having great tasting chicken. You season the meat and we gonna season that flour. So, I don't know, it's up to you how much you like to, you know, put on here, but I don't, I always feel like you can't put enough, you know, pepper on here. And the reason I'm putting so much on here, cause I'm gonna go ahead, you know, and start tumbling these. And when I do, it's gonna transfer to the ones down on the bottom. All right, that, and now I told you guys before, I'm gonna be using the Creole kick, right? This is what I'm gonna season with now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning. Hey, for those of you guys that got it, cause I know a lot of you guys have gotten this already. And those of you guys that are new, that's new to my channel, you gotta get yourself some of this. I got it, it looked like a lot, but watch when I tumble it. Once I get them to start transferring to each one, look, you'll see it's not so much. But this right here is we just gonna give it a start. And this is almost like a little dry season marinade because we got it on here right now and this will start penetrating the skin and this is where we're gonna get that flavor. Look at that right there. That's what you want. You see that right there? That look a little bare, but once we tumble it, let it touch another piece, just keep moving it around like this, all of the seasonings trans, you know, transfer to each one. Now, this right here is a great start. Now, let's go ahead and get that flour season. All right, so look, first thing I'm gonna do is take my flour, we go ahead and add that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use, as you guys can see, that's just a quarter cup. And then you gotta wake it up. Now remember, Sweet Smoky Joe's Creole Kick, listen, it's low on sodium. So we're gonna have to wake it up just a little bit, but not so that it is overpowering with the salt, right? So I just give it one pinch and a half. That's it right there. That's all we need. Now, for me, you know I like that black pepper, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more to this. Now remember, this is the key to having great tasting 
batter, right? You want to have your, your crush on your wings to be right. So do that, get yourself a whisk or a fork if you're doing it old school. And what we're going to do now is just give it a, you know, a nice little whisk and get everything incorporated nice. So that each, you know, each time we drop one of those uh, down here, one of the wings in here, that it gets the even amount of uh, seasoning and flour. Okay, so now you got your setup, right? This is it. You got your, you know, you already got your seasoned wings here. You got your seasoned flour. And then right here, over here, we got our, uh, our air fryer. I'm gonna go ahead and just raise this up like this. Now, I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna go ahead and take my spray and I'm gonna spray, you know, we wanna get our grape, right? We don't want nothing to stick. So we'll just do that. We good there. Now, go ahead, start putting your wings in your flour. You want to get it nice, nice and coated. For me, I like to press down on everything, you know, to make sure it get up in, in every, you know, crevice, right? Take it, shake it, and then set it. That simple. Now remember, I made this video three years ago and there was a lot of questions, you know what I mean? So don't forget, look down in the description box below for the ingredient list and measurements. And then you guys can follow along, you know, with this video and just see, it really isn't a whole lot to talk about anyway but this right here and i'm gonna give you the formula to make the best crispy air fried chicken wings on the planet look i'm not gonna bore you guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and then i'm gonna give you guys the settings okay so now you see they all in here look and you want to give yourself like a little make sure they got a little room right because listen when the air is moving around you want it to cook evenly i just like to see a little space on everyone this one right here might touch just a little bit but i'm good with that now let me give you guys the settings let me close this Let's hit power. Okay, so look, this particular air fryer works like this. If I tap it, you see it's got a temp and a time, right? So if I tap it twice, then we go with the temp. I hit the positive side, I'ma set this for 450. Now everybody doesn't have a air fryer to go to 450. So listen, you can do that, you're gonna do yours at 400 degrees, right? Then we're gonna tap it, now it's on time. So for the 450, I'ma set this for 25 minutes, right? Now if you guys set it, Excuse me. If you guys have, uh, if your air fryer only goes to 400, you just add, just add about five more minutes to it, right? So then I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. You'll see it light up and it's on its way. You're gonna wanna look at these halfway, right? So if you guys went 30 minutes in 15 minutes, you wanna open it up and then we're gonna take a look at it. For me, 12 and a half minutes, I'm gonna open it up, look at it, and then I'm gonna show you the secret. Okay, check it out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It'll pause on its own. We halfway through the cook, right? You guys can take a look at it and you can see how it is. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my spray. Remember, this is the key, the canola oil. We're just gonna spray a little bit on here like this. Just a little bit, just really on that white spot right there. That's all. And that right there is gonna do it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our tongs. We're gonna take this and now we're just gonna start turning these over. You know what I mean? You just do them like this. They starting to get crispy already. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I can feel it and hear it. Get our spray again. And just give it just a little bit. Just where you see it got that white. And that's it. Now, we're gonna close it and let it cook for the remainder of the time. And then when we get done, I'm gonna say voila. Okay, look, the timer just went off. It settled in. I didn't even waste no time, it just went off. So now let's open this up, take a look at it. And I want you guys to tell me what you think right there. Hey, super crispy. Let me see if I can get this sound, sound to you. You hear that? Yes, yeah, sir. We'll look at it on the bottom too. Ah, yeah. So now we'll just go ahead, let these kind of like drip. And what I'll do is I'll just put them on a plate. Now, the benefits of having an air fryer, look, I know we sprayed a little canola oil on there. For those of you guys who be like, well, what's the, what's the purpose? You just put just a little bit. Uh, trust me, it beats not having it, you know, sitting in no oil frying. But look at these right here. These right here are awesome. So you guys just seen just how easy it is to make. And I hope this video is much, much better than the one that's in these I cars and at the end. You know what I mean? Uh, so look, I'm gonna take one of these. It done cooled a little bit. Ah, look at that right there. You know what I mean? I'm finna go ahead and hit this. All right. Mm -hmm. So you guys can see, see the smoke? You know, heat vapor coming off of it. And you can see it's cooked all the way through. And first thing I notice is, as soon as you put it in your mouth, when it's seasoned just right, 
and you can taste all of the seasoning in there. Mm. Let me give me a napkin and wipe my mouth. Man, that's good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, look, with this little cutscene you saw right there, I just knocked off about six of these. Hey, they super easy to make. Just about everybody got an air fryer out there. Hey, listen, they can be made in the oven too. Hey, listen, it's super simple, you guys. Don't overthink it. I just wanted to remake this video and don't forget, this is about that 2.0 series, right? All of my older videos that make me cringe that did good, listen, we're gonna remake them with a little bit better uh, explanation. So with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.